spices. Why do you need them? First and foremost, building off of that video that I just had about cooking, making sure you know how to cook, spices obviously are a huge part of cooking. And sure, you can cook without them, but if you have the opportunity to use them, it can make a meal much more enjoyable and it can make it feel much more like home. It's giving you that creature comfort uh, thing. It might help some people that uh, if you have in your group that aren't dealing with the situation well, you might be able to help them with that. There's also medicinal purposes with um, quite a few spices, really. Um, if you learn those, that can be a great help. These can also be used for a barter system, which I think could be the most valuable part in this, is that you can have spices that you use for your cooking, but you can also trade with them. Uh, I've got a lot here, obviously. I'll throw this out front. I've got all these big containers back here. And then I've got two more trays over here, and I've still got more up in the cupboard, and then I've got fancier bottles up on that shelf. I've got a lot of spices around here. I cook a lot, so that's why, but I think for a preparedness situation, they could actually prove to be quite helpful. Uh, and you can get a lot of these in bulk, I would recommend. I would recommend getting more containers like this, generally. Uh, but you can also get containers like this, or even these really tiny ones, and then you can throw those in packs. Uh, but things like seasoning, I've got cinnamon sticks, which cinnamon is one of those that can help and kind of be over in that medicinal thing. I've got ground cinnamon, more seasoning stuff, garlic, ro rosemary, I've got thyme over there, I've got minced onion, I've got... Even pumpkin pie spice. Uh, I've got all sorts of things, and they can help with multiple aspects of your preparedness. Uh, cooking, bartering, all that stuff. I would recommend to stock up on them. Just another thought, just another item that you can look out for, and just another idea to keep you guys doing something productive with your preparedness. Uh, a lot of people will get stuck and they're like, well, I'm not sure what to do next. This is your afterthoughts. These are the things that you can do after you think you have enough food, after you think you have enough ammunition, after you get hygiene, stuff like that, your afterthoughts. I recommend this to be one of your afterthoughts. Something that I still believe is a great thing to have and something that I do think you should try to stock up on, but it should not be your main priority. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Really short video. But uh, for anybody who watched, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.